And I got a token. Yay. And this is... Le Lapin Bleu. The Blue Rabbit. This is a clue for later on in the game. Although we can't check it out yet. So... Hmm. Rocking Horse. Oh cool! Another token! I am the token master! <laughs> and is there anything else I missed? Oh, I missed the bookcase. Uh, what do we have here? Okay! It's a puzzle! Yay! Okay, so this piece is in place. These two pieces need to be switched. And now I'm just going to rotate those into place. This piece goes there. And this one needs to be rotated. This one needs to be rotated and then put there so we've got the purple otter in that place. And these two just need to be rotated. Well, this piece goes here, and that piece goes there. So let's just rotate them into place. And that means... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Which means this piece has to go in that corner. Okay. Which means that piece just gets rotated. And this piece should be uh, rotated as well. Now I'll need to switch these pieces. There we go. And we get a gear for the gear puzzle. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, that's pretty cool. But that's all we can do in the room for now, so let's go downstairs. Or hey, let's go upstairs. I can't quite get there from here. Yeah, it looks like a jump. Uh, okay, fine. Then let's go downstairs. Alright, what's here? Oh hey, a wait for the wait puzzle. That's cool. And... I shouldn't go messing with this without permission. A printing press, eh? Oh hey, something to print. Mm -hmm. Well, those are the gates, but there's still more to check out here. This is... Oh, I don't have enough tokens for uh, Madame Isabel. Isabel? Isabel. What's this? Hey, it's a person. Hi. You must be Nancy Drew. I'm Kit Foley, Matt's best friend. Ignore the eye if you can. Walked into a door the other day. Looks worse than it feels. I'm a bit surprised you're still here, given the circumstances. I'm not sure I fully understand the circumstances yet. That's because you've only heard Kyler's version of what's going on. Or worse, that Daffy Caretaker's version. Either way, it's unlikely you've heard the truth. The truth being... Matt isn't playing a practical joke, and he hasn't been kidnapped by fairies like Denal claims. He got cold feet and left. It's as simple as that. Really? Are you sure? Well, Matt didn't come out and tell me he was leaving. But hey, I am his best friend. I know him better than anybody. I mean, he loves Kyler, but she can be a handful. And he's no pushover either. Their relationship is so tempestuous, it scares him. She thinks once he makes a real commitment, everything will be fine. But he's not so sure. So, he bailed. That's an interesting version of uh, events, I guess. I don't think the possibility that he walked out on her has even occurred to her. She's in a raging state of denial, and I, for one, don't see any harm in allowing her to stay that way. I seriously doubt he walked out on her for good. It's just that for Matt, marriage is way too much, way too soon. Huh. When or how did you realize that Matt had disappeared? Kyler and I went for a walk, came back, and the next thing I knew, Kyler was saying Matt was nowhere to be found. Where did you last see him? In the nursery. He always seemed to be in the nursery fiddling with things. Whenever I'd tease him about it, he'd always give me this impish little grin like he was up to something. When I checked the nursery and saw that Matt's suitcase and backpack were gone, it finally dawned on me that he had left and he wasn't coming back. 
Of course, by that time, Kyler had convinced herself that he was simply playing one of his practical jokes, and I couldn't bring myself to burst her bubble, so I didn't. Huh. It looks like you're drawing something. Are you an artist? Me? Not hardly. I'm with a real estate development company. These are just preliminary sketches for a couple of projects we're working on. In other words, I'm doing homework. Residential real estate or commercial? Mostly residential. And let me tell you, we'd have a field day with attractive land like the one this castle sits on. Ocean view, easy commute to Donegal, bedrock foundation, readily accessible groundwater. That bog's a bit problematic, but a little sand, a little gravel, a little landscaping, voila! A cluster of six, maybe eight luxury homes amid a park-like setting that would sell like lightning. Okay, he is a real estate agent, I guess. Do you think I could borrow your lantern? No, I don't. Sorry. Aww. How come you sound so American? Because I am American. My father's VP of International Sales for Krollmeister Incorporated. The company transferred him to London 15 years ago. I've pretty much lived there ever since. I just can't seem to pick up the accent. I better get going. See ya. Drop by any time. Well, that's uh, that's uh, Kit. Sorry, I forgot his name for a second. Okay, and we should leave now, but there's something we can do before leaving, and that's talk to Kyler, because she's got a job for us to do. Nancy, splendid timing. I just thought of something you can do for me. There's an old-fashioned printing press downstairs. Have you seen it? It's so big, it's pretty hard to miss. It came with the castle. My great-uncle, Grandpapa's brother, was some sort of mad inventor. Had all sorts of gizmos and gadgets and machinery lying around. Anyway... When I saw the printer, I told Matt, why not save some money and print the programs for the wedding right here? Uh, problem is, Matt failed to get them done before he turned into the merry prankster. And since I have the mechanical aptitude of a bacterium, <laughs> would you mind finishing the job for me? You'd only have to print three more sheets. And the plate, the ink, the paper, everything you need is right there. No problem. Thank you, Nancy. You're the best. <laughs> Okay, so now we get to do some printing jobs. Printing is fun, right? Doo -doo -doo. Printer, 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 printer. Okay, so printing presses are pretty much like giant stamps. So what you do is you put the ink on the stamp, then you put some paper, and then you stamp it. Bam! Ow! Ow! Oh, I hurt my hand. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. And then you dry the ink. And then let's just put it in this little... Alan Payne. That's kind of weird. That is kind of weird, huh? Okay, and she wanted three, so do it again. Do -do -do -do. Yay, obsolete technology. I wonder how they got the plates to work the printing press. Kyler never said that. Seems suspicious. Eh, it probably has nothing to do with the mystery at all. Do -do -do -do. So let's go see Kyler. Did you finish the programs? Yep. But I noticed that they say the best man is someone named Alan Payne. If Kit is Matt's best friend, why isn't Kit the best man? Matt said that's the way Kit wanted it. He got here early, too. But when Matt vanished, Alan was certain that Matt was playing a joke and refused to be the butt of it. So he went back to London, saying he'll reappear only when Matt does and not a moment before. You know, perhaps you should give Alan a call. Zero, zero. How does she memorize such a long phone number? He may have seen something while he was here that could help you find Matt. Have you a phone? Not one that works. You'll have to use the phone down the road at the inn. My cell phone gets absolutely no reception here. Oh, I hear you. 